Hello everyone, my name is Mathieu from ABM Systems. Welcome to this video about how to create customized groups and how to use them in ClickSense. In other words, how to assign different user groups with different levels of security to streams in the ClickSense management console. You might have already come across this problem before and try to create groups directly into your Hatic directory, then use these groups into ClickSense through the user management section. If you did so, you might have resolved your problem, but how long did it take you to find users you wanted, then to create a group and or subgroup into your Active Directory, synchronize it with ClickSense, let alone the time needed if your Active Directory has several subdomains and nested groups, or if you have to go through your IT department for each request you had. The method I will show you in a minute through ClickSense is much quicker and efficient. If you have between 1 and around 50 ClickSense users, beyond 50 users, another method using your Active Directory could be more suitable, but I will show you this specific topic in another how-to video. Before starting, I think it's worth mentioning that this is not an introductory video of ClickSense, which means you need to be familiar with the Click management console interface, the streams, the security roles, the Active Directory, and all the ClickSense basic administration. Okay, now let's jump right into it. I am now on the home page of ClickSense management console, which I'm sure you're familiar with it. Um, firstly, it's obvious, but worth mentioning that you need to have an administrator user with root admin role and ensure that tokens has been allocated to the users you want to configure. Once you have checked these two prerequisites, you can go to the Custom Property tabs that you will find in the left-hand panel, just below Manage Resources. So I click on Custom Properties, and normally if you haven't already created a custom property, you should have nothing here. So let's assume that this page is empty and I will create a new Custom Property group. So I will call this one, uh, let's say group access stream, and I will tick the box only users. Then here I will create a new users or a new value, and into this value I will enter user one. I apply. That's it, successfully added new customer properties. So now you can go back to the home page. And then click on the user section and find the user you just added on the custom group, which for me was user one. User one, edit. You can see here in the custom property section, you've got different groups. So obviously the one um, we have just created is called group access stream. So here I will enter the value user one and apply. Then you can go back to your home page and you can now assign um, streams to this specific group. So I have previously created two streams. The first one I've created is called How to Video Finance and the second one is How to Video IT. Just to help you stream to make the things simple. So from there, there are two ways to create and to assign a customer's group to a specific rules. The first one is to go to one of these two stream, edit the stream, go to the security rules and create your own rules based on the custom group you have just created. But we will do the second one and I don't recommend using this one because the second one it's much easier to maintain as you can go directly into the um, security rules and have all the rules um, stored in the same section. This is this way I recommend using. So let's go to security rules. Do you have obviously all the default and probably sometimes custom rules you have already created? I will create a new rules for this specific example to assign um, one or more stream to this, to this group. 
To do so, click on the select box and click on stream access just to create root base on these templates. The name, let's call it um, assign group one to stream. You can put whatever description you want or to video. Uh, let's assume you just want to give the read access to the groups and not publish one for the moment. Um, then on this, to this box, leave it to user and click on this box and choose the groups access stream, the group you just created, created on the custom properties. Equal the value you want to put, which will be user1 or if you want, you can either select user and put the group access stream. But for the moment, we have only one user. Doesn't matter. At least if I want to add more than one user, it will be automatically added to this rule. Then that's, that's it. You just have to apply. And one really useful uh, functionality in this section is, to, is the preview mode. The preview mode, when you click on the preview mode, you can see this user will be accessed to all these streams. But you don't want to have to give access to all these streams. You want to give access only to the how to video finance and IT stream. To do so, I will click on the plus icon. Instead of or, I will use the end logic. And here, instead of user, I will click on stream, select the name of the stream, and enter the value of the stream, which is how to video finance. I apply and preview. All good, but now I need to do that for the second streams. So to do to do so, I will create exactly the same sub rule in this in this rule. So I will click on plus and ungroup this second section of the rule. Then use the same logic with the username, the group access stream, the user with the value group access stream, and I will add another stream. In that case, it's end logic. So it will not be user, but stream, the name of the stream here, and the value of this stream, which is how to video IT stream. Apply, preview. All good. I now have my user one, or at least my group, I have just created in a custom property, which has, which has access to my two stream, how to video finance and how to video IT. Okay, I can go back to the home page and try if my user one has access to these two stream. So let's go and try right now. Hub. And yes, I can see that my user one has access to how to video finance and how to video IT. All good. It's what I wanted to do. I can log out. Go to the hub. That's okay. So okay, you have now able to create a custom group, assign this group to a specific user and stream. But what about adding new users into this group? Let's jump into a practical example then. I go back to my home page with my administrator user and I will add, I will go to my custom properties in my group access stream and I will add two more users, the user two and the user three. Apply. So if you remember well, I now have to go to the user section and for each of the user I added in the custom group, I have to make sure that is also added on the group access. So I click on user two, group access two, user two, apply. I go back to users and I do the same with the users, the user three. Okay, group, user three. I apply. All good. So now to be sure that all my free users has access to these two stream, how to video IT and how to video finance, I will go back to 
my security rules and search for the rule I previously created called assign group one to string. Oh, good. I click on edit. And if I click on the preview mode, I should be able to see user one, user, user two, user three, access in the read mode to the stream IT and finance. Click on preview. And that's the case. So I only had to add my two other users, user two, user three in my custom property to be able to give them access to these two streams. Okay, but now you might want to restrict access the finance trip to only two users because in fact the user 3 doesn't need to have access to the finance stream but only to the IT stream. To do so, I want to restrict access to the user 3 on my how to video finance stream. So I will add a new section on this subsection. I will choose n instead of or. Username will be group access. And here instead of choosing equal, I will choose not equal. So when user belonging to the group access stream is not equal to user three. I apply. I preview and that's it. That make the trick. I wanted to have my user one and user two access to both streams and I wanted my user three only have access to the whole video IT stream. But to be sure that the theory also works in reality, I will log in with my user three and just double check that he has only access to the whole how to video IT stream. Login. And that's the case. I can see that he has only access to the how to video IT stream and not to the how to video finance stream. All good. And that will be exactly the same thing if you want to give access to your user to only to the IT stream and not to the finance stream. Make the same trick. Just be sure that you are in the right subsection, which is finance stream or IT stream for this example. Okay, you are now able to assign different streams to several users belonging to the same group and by extension to different groups. This has been the ABM Systems video on how to create customized groups and how to use them in ClickSense. I do hope this video was helpful to you and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want any further information, do not hesitate to contact ABM System by email at info.abmsystem.com. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.